We have run out of money. No money whatsoever. So yesterday we were in Fickel. We went to the ATM to get some money out, as you do. And they said, sorry, the ATM's broken. And that is the only ATM in Fickel. So today, <laughs> since we're out of money, we had to borrow some, um, only a little bit, to get to a place called Ilan. Um, where hopefully they have some working ATMs and we can get some money out. We're not entirely sure how to get there or how long it's going to take. Should be a fun day. We are now going to try and find a taxi place, bus kind of place, to we try... Don't, don't, to be honest, we don't even know what we're looking for, so... Um, we're going to try and get to Ilan. <laughs> Uh, taxi to Elan? Yeah. Yeah, how much? 150, 150 yeah. to Elan? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. So we've managed to find the taxi. It was 150 <coughs> rupees each which is just over one pound. For like an hour and a half yeah. journey. So price-wise it was amazing. However, <laughs> at one point there was 20 people in the car and then when you think like, right, we're done, we can't fit any more in, they're like squeezing up one in. Although I kind of felt like because we were wedged in so much and we didn't have seat belts. <laughs> it made that, it that, more safe. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we arrived in Ilam. The first thing we noticed were there were about 1,000 ATMs, which was great. And we got some money out. We got as much money as we could out. We tried to find a restaurant. Couldn't really find anything that looks like a restaurant. So now we're at a hotel that I'm not... We asked for food. He said chame. He said chame. I said, have you got a menu? He said meat. Um, and we're here, so... And now we're in a little room, which is actually quite comfy. Waiting and for a chow mein. Waiting for this guy to bring us some chow mein. For breakfast. For breakfast. Where are you? I couldn't tell you. I mean, I'm gonna give it a guess and say it's a temple. We're just back on our descent back down to the tea farm now and that is how easy it is to get cash out from an ATM when you're in the middle of nowhere in a tea farm in eastern Nepal. Easy. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Rebecca was saying to me this morning that the journey shouldn't be seen as a journey and the journey should be seen as part of the adventure and that's something I've tried to take into account today. And it is. You know, when I'm back at home, it takes me from my bed, I think I can get to a, an ATM in about two minutes because I live in the center of town and it's so easy for me. Whereas when you're stranded in the middle of nowhere, living on a mountain in Nepal, it can take, you know, three hours to go and get money out. So today's been very much treating the journey as the adventure and something we would have never have done had the ATM been working in the town. So, what was that, Han? Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, as Rebecca says. Yeah.